Hey, said I'm one, come test me. Pick two rap with a sling mic, lick off and met like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard a day talking that big talk, lip off, which god, listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely, big man, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form, don't stress me. Hey, I'm an issue like child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his ring, he need clothes and he dress me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect, it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand with my sword at the gate. Holiness to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespecting the stone of your face. Look, you must be a fool to can. He says the legacy of slavery. The history, right? What do you see? Like, say what you see on the sign. What kind of violence? Be more specific. What do you see exactly being done? Right? Whipping, killing, beating. What else? Lynching. Right? A horrible thing. I have something to get to. Yeah, I got you. It, 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 this is going to take one minute. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of horrible things. Right? Well, wasn't this these horrible things done by your people? Uh, I guess by my ancestors. Yeah. By ancestors, right? Yeah. Do you think? Do you believe in um, an eye for an eye, two for a two? You say no. I don't think violence cures violence. You you believe in karma? I believe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's the what's the what does karma mean? Isn't it, by definition, what, whatever you do, it comes back and bites you? In the, in the long run. Right. So, so if if this if if karma is if karma exists and you believe in karma, and your ancestors did this to the so-called Black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, they're not here right now to get that karma which you speak of. So. Who do you think has the beard of karma for them that are not here to bear it for themselves? Wouldn't that be the new generation of whites that have to suffer for I, them? I guess it's really I guess you think that should Well well I can tell you what I think, but do you believe in the Bible? I was not raised You wasn't? No. You believe in God? Uh, I believe in something higher, I guess. Yeah, higher power? Yeah. Okay, which they would say is, is God, right? I guess so. Right, so we we, we believe in the Bible, yeah. we teach the Bible, yeah. right? We believe in, in God, and we also believe in history. Yeah. And as we can see right here, this is history, yeah. right? If I were to come to What's your name, man? Alec. Alec? Yeah. Hey, say I was supposed to come to your house right now, and you have children, right? You had a, a wife, daughter, son, right? And I came and I, say I killed you, hypothetically speaking, and I killed your wife. And I took your son and your daughter, and I put them into slavery. And they've been working for me for, and Listen, I, I, it's I, just I a quick thing. You say your friend's birthday dinner? Yeah. Okay, man. Well, I guess your birthday dinner is more important than our feelings. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what you're showing me, man. Yeah, they don't care about slavery. Right? How you doing? What's your nationality? Nationality? Yeah. Uh, hey, you see that? Hispanic flag. Hey, you see that? Hey, don't play with the most high, man. Yeah. You see what just happened? Uh, he just fell flat on he his fell face. Fell flat on his face. Oh, he did? Yeah, he just kicked over and, and, and was spread out. Oh wow! See that instant judgment. What? Sorry, oh, I got distracted. What's your nationality? It's Hispanic slash Palestinian slash Espanol slash. Okay. What's your father? What is it? What's your father? My father. Yeah. What's your father's ethnicity? Bolivian, Espanol, well, Bol ethnicity. Uh, but Bolivian or Espanol. I don't know. Just mix the thing. 
de todo. Well, well that, that's a nationality. Ethnicity. Is he white? Is he a white no. man? Is he Caucasian? No. no. What is he? Well, Espanol. Hispanic? Hispanic. Is he Spanish or Hispanic? Hispanic. Hispanic? Hispanic. Hispanic? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you speak Hispanic? Yes, I do. You speak Spanish? Yes, Okay. Oh, Just, um, I want to know what this is. Is, 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 is your language, is, is, la is Hispanic or Spanish the language that you were, your ancestors were taught or is it their native tongue? Um, well, there are a mix of things, so I guess taught, taught. Your, your father's um, people were taught the Spanish? Yes. They were slaves to the, to the, to the Spanish? Honestly, I don't know. I don't, don't I, know. I don't know. I know. I know. Where was your father my, born? In Bolivia. Bolivia. What, where is Bolivia? South America. South America. South America. Okay. Or is your father's grand? You know your grandfather. Your father's father. I never met him. No. Is he native to the land, South America? Probably, but they were probably. I don't know. Do they go back to the native Indians or or yeah, the, or, I mean, or Negroes? I think we all do. I think we all go back that far. To the native. I think we all go back that far. Nobody is like. How do we know that we're all one thing? Other. I mean, you, you could be white. You said I can be white. You could be white. They're, you're you great, 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 great. Do I look like a white man? No, but there could be a white person in your family that you know nothing about. There was never a white person in my family. How do you know? Right. I know that for a fact. Right. Right. Because I would look like a white man. No, right. Because, okay. Right. Can I just ask if, what this is? Is Bob Marley's father? Oh, real fast. Is, you know you you know Bob Marley. They just made a, a movie about him. You you seen the movie yet? Yeah, they just made a movie about Marley. Do you know that Bob Marley's father is a white man? Do you ever heard of Caucasian? Do you know that? Do you see? And if you look at Bob Marley, you can see that he has like a high yellow color or complexion, right? His father is a white man. And if you look at his children, they even after him, because he, he, he laid with a, a, a black woman, and his children, Ziggy Marley, um, all the other brothers, right? Yeah. Damien. Damien, all of them, Junior Gang Marley, right? They all still have that high color. It never changed. You can still see that trace of their father's or grandfather's bloodline in them, right? So even genealogically, you can still know if someone descends from a white man, right? I, I know for a fact I don't descend from a white man. But what right. about when you look at me, what do you think I decided from? That's why I'm asking, because well, the, the scripture says we're not supposed to judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgments. Right? Brothers, um, give me that precept real quick, Baba Kishan. John 7, 24. God, bring that up. So, we are here to judge in righteousness, not ignorance. Right? So that's why I'm asking you these questions, like, your father and your father's father because according to the scripture as well you've named a lot of different like ethnic backgrounds and nationalities mm -hmm. but according to the scripture you are who your father is right. the number is one in 18. well then i guess he is bolivian but what if he's a mix of things right that's what i'm saying there's no such thing as mixed in the scriptures you are whether your father is no, I don't. right so i'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that real quick Bring that up. John chapter 7 verse 24. Bring it up. Judge not according to appearance. So we can judge. A lot of people say, well, you can't judge me. The scripture says, judge not according to appearance. So we're able to judge, but just not off of appearances. As it reads. Read it from the top again. Judge not according to appearance. So judge not according to appearance. I mean, I'm not just going to look at you and assume that you're a white woman. Right? Yeah, but I think that I think that means don't judge, like don't judge people as good or bad based on their appearance. Like, well, it's more than just it's more than just whether you're good or bad because uh, your complexion don't tell me whether you're a good or bad person. It's your actions. Right. right. So, but it's specifically mentioned in appearance right here, right? Read it again. John 7 and 24, judge not according to appearance. To appearance, so appearance means to appear. It's a visual thing, so it's talking about what you see, read. But judge righteous judgment. But do what? But judge righteous judgment. So righteous judgments, right? 
So we have to first find out what righteousness is so we can judge righteousness, right? Give me Deuteronomy 6.25. Righteous, righteousness. Is, what is righteousness? Righteousness is love your neighbor as you love yourself and love people and don't hurt people. Which is, where do you find that? In the Bible. Right, which is, well, that's the commandment, right? Love your neighbor as yourself? Right. So righteousness is the commandments. Yeah. The law of God, right? Yeah. Bring that up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, the 6th verse 25. Bring it out! And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? It, it shall, shall be, be our righteousness. righteousness. It shall be our righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments. If we observe to do what? If we observe to do all these commandments. So righteousness is doing all the commandments. Right. Right? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, so the command so as a believer. The Lord is saying for you to be a righteous person and to judge righteously, we have to do it based off the commandments. Right. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to judge and see whether or not your spirit bear witness, because clearly you really don't know much about your family and ancestry. Right. It's for me to judge whether or not you'll be a, a, a Israelite, because that's who we're here for, the 12 tribes of Israel. If you see that chart right here, the so-called Black Hispanic Native Seminole Indians are the Biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Right. You ever heard of the Israelites? Uh, yeah. What do you know about the Israelites? I, I don't know. You don't know anything? Know. You just know about them? Well, my family is from the Middle East, so that's all I know. Well, I'm not talking about Israelis. I'm talking about the Israelites. Oh, right. I don't know. Give me Exodus 1 and 1. Because contrary to popular belief, right, the Israelites are not just people that dwell in a land. Right. You're just being born in Israel, now I'm an Israelite. Right. The Israelite, or Israel was first a person, one individual by the name of Israel, whose name, who has 12 sons, right? And those 12 sons... Uh, Right, and those 12 sons of Israel, you listening? Yes, I'm listening. Those 12 sons of Israel are who make up the, the those are the 12 sons that make up the nation of Israel. Right? Okay. So, as I said, let me reiterate. Re there says, was one man first by the name of Israel. He had 12 sons. And then these 12 sons started to have children. And they started to multiply. Thus creating the nation of Israel. Uh -huh. So. Being an Israelite is not just a nationality, it's a bloodline. Okay. It's a people that from a specific bloodline. Yeah. Right? Right now, anybody can go to the landmass Israel, be born there, and be uh, Israel, I have an Israel nationality because they were born there. The, where were you born? Uh, Providence. Yeah. Right, so you would be an American. Yes. Right? So just like if you go to Israel right now, you would be an Israel resident or citizen, right? right? Because you were born there. Right. In the Bible, the real Israelites are a bloodline of people. Right. You have to be from that seed of that man named Israel to be an Israelite. Anybody can't just call themselves an Israelite because they just went into the land and lived there. Right? Bring that up. Exodus 1 and 1. But what of Exodus chapter one verse one? Now these are the names of the children of Israel. Of who? Of, of the, the children, children of, of Israel. Israel. So these are children of a man called Israel, read. Right? Which came into Egypt, right? Every man and his household came with Jacob. Right. Jacob is whose name was changed to Israel. Right, read. Reuben, right? Simeon, right? Levi. Levi. And, and Judah. Right? Naming the sons, right? Issachar, right? Zebulon, and Benjamin, right? Dan, and Nathali, Gad, and Asher, and all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob. Read that again. And, and all, all the, the souls which came, came out of the loins of Jacob. And read that one more time. And, and all, all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob. So all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob. What do you mean? What do you think that loins mean? Is wrong. Yeah, you, did, you, you ever did English language in school? No, but the, the whole point of the Bible is this. No, you're listening? I'm listening I asked you a question. Said, what? 
The question was, what does the word loins mean? Uh, don't know. No. Can a brother pull up the word loins for me in the dictionary? L O. No, I'm not pulling it. Oh yeah, you can do the blue letter. Bring it out. Right. Because we have to get the proper understanding of what each word means, right? Isn't that what we're taught in English class? To, to know definitions and words so we can use them in the proper context? Yes. Right, so we're about to find out what the word loins mean. Okay. Right? And then I will, I will say one and thing. Then I'll I will give you, and I'll give you a chance to speak. Do you guys live around here? No, sir. Here you go, kid. Okay. Okay. Definition of loins. The part of the body on both sides of the spine between the lowest, the ribs and the hip bones. Right. The region of the sexual organs. The what? The regions of the sexual organs. Right, so your loins is your sexual organ. Right? Okay. So when it says that it, these, all of these came from the loins, he's talking about his private area. Right. Meaning that they were born from his seed. Right? So it's talking about a, a specific genealogy. Right. Right? Jump to verse 8. Verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph, right? One of his sons. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are born as mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it came to pass that when there fall, falleth out any more, they joined also unto our enemies. Right, so this is the Israelites in Egypt. And the Egyptians are saying, we gotta, we gotta basically keep these people in check. Because if they if we allow them to multiply, they're gonna join with our enemies and destroy us. Because they've been dwelling amongst us and they know us very well. So they didn't trust them. Right? Read on. Verse 10, come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it comes to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also our enemy, and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them task makers. Task masters talking about slave masters. Right, you listening? Yes. So the Egyptians sent slave masters over the Israelites while they were dwelling in Egypt. Right, read. To afflict them with their burdens, right? And they built for Pharaoh treasures, cities, pit them, and ransoms. Right, so according to the Bible, the Israelites were used by the Egyptians to build their pyramids. Right, read. But the more they afflicted them, this is the point, the more they afflicted them, the more they multiply and grew. The more they what? The, the more, more they, they multiply and grew. grew. So the more they kept them in slavery, the more they started to multiply and have a multitude of children, right? What people today that were put in slavery and still multiplied and grew, do you know? What people in modern day or even in history right went through slavery and as a result they still multiplied and grew and became and still stood as a big uh, a nation you don't know the black man didn't black people go into slavery right i kind of have to go so um i thank you i appreciate this it's nice you guys so what did you learn um, a lot of history, a lot of history, but... Like what? 
I want to see if you was listening. I was listening, but I have right. a bad. I, no, I was listening. No, I want to. Uh, you have to prove that you was listening. I was listening. So these are all the, the uh, Israelites. According to what? Don't I don't. I was listening. I was listening. I just I have part. What makes them? What makes them the Israelites? Uh, West Indian blacks. Yeah. They weren't born in Israel, the land, but they're Israelites. So what makes them Israelites? Uh, because they immigrated to Israel? I don't know. You said they immigrated? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I was, I was listening. It's no, was listening. I was listening. What, I was. Makes, what makes a person an Israelite? Tell me again. Oh, man. See, see, you wasn't listening. I was listening, but I forgot. In I, order to, for you, read, hey, I'm not going to read that again. To, I, I In order for you to be an listening. Israelite. Why would, I, why would I stand here for Listen, listen. Listen, listen. No, wait, I got to finish. You go asked me to say it one more last time okay. Okay, for you to understand. Okay. For you to be an Israelite, you have to be born or descend from the bloodline of the man called Jacob. Abraham Isaac Jacob, whose name was Israel. And he had 12 sons. These are the names that you see there on the left hand side. And from those 12 sons came all these people that you see on the right okay, hand side. Okay, so these are the 12 sons of Israel and these... These are their descendants today. Okay, cool. So all these people came from Isra from the 12 sons of Israel. Yes, Columbia, which makes Mexico. them Israelite. Israel. Do you see your, your, your flag on one of these sons? Um, Yes, uh, Cubans, Dominican. I'm not Cuban, Dominican, but I'm Bolivian, which is South America. South America. South America. So I'm on there, and then the Middle East. Yeah, but just being a South American doesn't make you an Israelite. That's why I asked you about your father. Whether is he a Native Indian or would he be a Negro, a so-called black man? Bolivian, but he's a mix. Bolivian isn't Bolivia a country? It is a country in South America. Okay, so Bolivia, so anybody can be a Bolivian. Because okay. anybody can move there and take on the citizenship of that place. Okay. Were your father native to that land? Or were they brought there as slaves? Or were they the ones doing the enslaving? I, I don't know. Well, you got to find that out. That's the only way that yeah. we're going to really get to know where they are Israelite. Okay, so... Because it's very important that you know for your salvation or your destruction. Salvation is found here and hell is found here. So if you do good, God is not going to do you. If you do evil, he will do you. Where does it say that? In the Bible. Where? Uh, those that have shown no mercy. Where? What scripture says that? I don't have my phone, but those that have shown no mercy. So you quote me stuff you don't know? I do know. Those that have shown no mercy. You look it up. Look it those up. that have what? Those that have shown no mercy will be shown no mercy. So if you show no compassion to the poor, God will show you no compassion. You will be in trouble. Yes or no? Well, it depends on what you refer to because according to the scripture, the, we're, we're supposed to only give um, mercy and charity and, and stuff to the poor of our people. What about Not all people. What about the whole world? The whole world? We could, keep, we could care less about the whole world. So you only care about anything God We only care about the Israelites. God will show you no compassion. God only cares about the Israelites. Right. Do you know that the Bible says that? Give me Joel 227. Let's show her. I gotta go. I gotta go. He cares you say about, what? He cares about all. What you say, brother? You say that's not true. Can you prove me wrong? All right, come up here, King. Come up here. What's your name? Christopher. What's your name, King? Christopher. Uh, you said God. I, what, what, what is it that you disagreed with? That God only cares about Okay, and you're willing to prove? Challenge me on that. All right, give me give me Joel 227. Give me Luke 168. Of course. That's what we're here for. Right? What's your nationality? African American. Got you. So did my brother inform you that um the word Africa is the name of a so-called Caucasian man by the name of Leo Scipios Africanus? Say that? What do you mean? No, I'm not saying that. 
saying that I didn't ask you whether God's gonna let you win or not. I'm asking you, did you know that the term African came from a Caucasian general by the name of Leo Scipio is African? I'm saying that's inconsequential, I'm not gonna follow But that's history. Do you believe in history? Um, depend on who wrote it. Well, that's a, that's a history fact. Just like America. America was named after an Italian matter by the name of Amerigo Vespucci. Is that is that a fact or no? I don't know. You tell me. Well, you have to research, King. We're telling you things we've already researched. I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, you can go. Those that have shown no mercy will be shown no mercy. Look that up. Those that have shown no mercy. You show no compassion, God will show you no compassion. Alright sister, we heard you. Goodbye. Alright, goodbye. Alright, sister. Yeah, Joel 227. Bring that out. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am the Lord in the midst. I am who? I am Lord. The Lord. You in believe the in the Bible, King? Okay, so this is the Lord, right? Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I'm in the midst of Israel. Read. That I am the Lord your God. Read that again. That, that I, I am the Lord, Lord your God. God. I am the Lord your God. And none else. And what? And, and none, none else. else. Not everybody. And, and none, none else. else. And none else. Right? Do you, do you agree with the text, brother? The Lord says he's the God of Israel and he's the God. He's the only their God and none else. Do you, do you agree with the script? I agree with that this is the Old Testament. You, know, I agree you that said the Old Testament? Yeah. Alright, give me Matthew 121, give me Luke 168. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Bring it out. Does God change, brother? No. He doesn't change. So if God has a chosen people, isn't he not gonna still have one all the time? If he doesn't change? That's what give me true. give me Malachi yeah. 3 and 6. Oh, hold those and give me Malachi 3 and 6. No, I'm, I'm just I'm um, giving them the scripts I want to quote. Because you still didn't tackle Joel 2.27 yet. Right? Give me Malachi 3 and 6. Book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Bring you, it out. you said God doesn't change, right? Read. For I am the Lord. Right? I change not. Right? I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob. Therefore who? Therefore, Therefore ye sons, sons of Jacob. Jacob. These are the sons of Jacob right here, King. All the names that you see on that left hand side which are the sons of Israel. Right. That ye sons of Jacob, read. That ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, right? Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances. Right, You're talking about them transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments. Right, give me Romans 11 and one. So God doesn't change, so that the children of Israel are not consumed. Consumed by who? These other nations. That's what he's referring to. Give me Romans 11 and 1. Book of right. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. Bring it up. I say then, have God cast away his people? Right. As Has God cast away his people? Because we're talking about God's people. You said that was Old Testament, right? This is Romans 11 and 1. Is this New Testament? No. All right. You following along? I don't want to go too fast. Romans 11 and 1. I'm going to wait till you get there. The thing that I'll ask is, uh, as Real fast. I can take out like certain verses yeah. to read it in context. Oh, definitely. We're starting from the first verse. Oh, right. So, so it'll keep it in context. Gotcha. Right, bring it up. I say then, has God cast away his people? Read that again. Has I say God cast, cast away, away his people? So that's a question, brother. Has God cast away his people? The ones that we read in Joel 2.27? that he's in the midst of? Let's see what he said. Has God cast away his people? God forbid. What did he say? God, God forbid. forbid. Hell no, nah, God ain't cast away his people. Bro. Right. Right, read. For I also am an Israelite. What did Paul say? For I also am an Israelite. So Paul is telling you he's an Israelite also. Right. Read from where? I also am an Israelite. Of the seed of Abraham. From who? Of the seed of Abraham. Read. Of, of the tribe, tribe of Benjamin. Of who? Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin, brother, right here. Right? That's one of the sons of Jacob. So he's letting you know God didn't oh. cast away those people that he... Before you start dialect, man, keep reading the scriptures. Oh, yeah, right. no doubt, King. Don't you don't stop at the reverse either. Just read so you get the concepts. 
Okay, come on. Right, but I, as, I, as I'm going along, I gotta break it down. Well, can we read one song through that we can break it down after? So well, I tried line upon line, King. Well, well, you said well, we were, yeah, line upon line, here a little, there a little. We was in Joel, and, and I asked you, and you said, that's Old Testament. So clearly you're implying that those, because that was Old Testament, it doesn't apply to the new. I didn't say that. But that's your implying. That's, that's what why you said that. What I'm saying is that when Christ came, he gave everybody the ability to receive the Holy Spirit. You not said just, everybody? Not just certain people. That's what I'm saying. So can you, can you prove the, that? What scripture read? says that? You go. I just want to read this. All right, bring that up. Continue reading. Of the tribe of Benjamin, God hath not, verse 2, God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Read that. He didn't cast away the people that he dealt with from even the Old Testament. Read. Whoa, ye not what the scriptures have said. Right. Don't you know what the scriptures have said? Right. Elias, Elijah, how he maketh intersections to God against Israel. Against who? Against, against Israel. Israel. So in context, he's just talking about Israelites. Read on. Saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, right? And I am left alone, and they seek my life, but have said the answer of God unto him. I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at the present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election. There's a what? There is a remnant according to the election. So there's a remnant out of Israel that, that's called, that's the elect. They're, those are elect men. Right? Read. Of grace. And if by grace, then is it not, so like, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Right. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no is no more work. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeketh for, seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded, according as it is written. Right. God has given them the spirit of slumber. Right. Eyes that they should not see, right? and the ears that they should not hear. What is that talking about, brother? Okay, go on. On to this day, right? and David said, let their tables be made a snare, and right. a trap, right. and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God, God forbid, forbid, right? But rather, through their fall, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, right? For to provoke them to jealousy, right? Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to the Gentiles in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentile, right? I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke the emulation them, yeah, I provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and my which are what? Which, which are, are my flesh, flesh, right? Read and might save some of them. For if if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what? Shall the rec what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the fruit, the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy, right? And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root of the fatness of the olive tree. Right. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the, the root, but the root thee. Yeah, but the root thee. Right. Thou wilt say then the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, 
they were broken off and thou standest they were by what? They, they were broken off and thou, and thou standest faith. by faith. Right? Be not high minded but here but fear. For if God spared not the na the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore the goodness of se severity of God on them which fell severity toward thee goodness if thou continue in his in his goodness otherwise thou also shall be cut off and they also if they abide not still in unbelief shall be grafted in right for if for God is able to graft them in again right for if for God is what for, for God, God is able, able to graft, graft them, them in again, again. Right? Read. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into the good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Right? For I would not, brethren, for I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery right lest ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part is happened to israel to who to, to israel. israel everybody to, to israel. israel read until the fullness of the gentiles be come in right and so all israel shall be saved as it is written read that again and so, so all israel, israel shall be saved as, as it is written read there shall come out of zion the deliverer, right? And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. From who? From, from Jacob. Jacob. From who? From, from Jacob. Jacob. Read. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, there are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. For the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. For as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief, even so have these also now not believed that through your mercies they also may obtain mercy. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depth of the riches both of them both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How un unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord or who hath been his counselor or who hath first given to him and it shall be recompensed unto him again for, for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Hi, King. You have the floor, King.
Gentiles or white people or the devil or whatever? I don't know. I didn't say anything of that nature. I'm just asking. The, the, if you're asking me what the, who the Gentiles are? Who do you consider the Gentiles? Well, according to... Good question. So according to the scripture, you have the Gentiles which are of other nations. And then you have the Gentiles which are Israelites, which have been uncircumcised. Which those are the Gentiles that Paul are referring to. Well, how can I be uncircumcised? I'm gonna show you. Give me the book of First Maccabees, chapter one and verse number ten. Hmm? Yeah, I could pull from. Give me First Corinthians twelve and one. Give me um Ephesians two and eleven. Whoever got those. And give me Matthew four and twelve. I'm gonna show you, okay? First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse one. Bring that up. Now concerning spiritual gifts, right. brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Read that again. Ye, ye know, know that, that ye were Gentiles. So Paul is speaking to the church of Corinth. He's saying ye know that ye were Gentiles. So whoever he's speaking to, they were once Gentiles. So now we have to find out who we were speaking to. Right? Jump to chapter 10 and verse 1. What's your name again, bro? Siobhan. Siobhan. I say you are. This is my question, bro. How can you? Uncircumcised. Like, Wait, I'm, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to show you. Uh, first Maccabees 1 and 10. Bring that up. The book of First Maccabees 1 and verse 10. Bring it out. Oh. And there came out of them a wicked group, Antiochus, right? surnamed Epiphane, son of Antiochus, the king who had been an hostage at Rome. Right? And he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men. Right? Out of Israel there were certain men that went out wicked men, read. Who persuaded many saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathens. Right? They went out and said, we're going to join to the heathens, read. That are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Right, so they're complaining because when they were dwelling uh, amongst the Greeks, because they were in slavery to the Greeks, the Israelites, they had, they were basically living better than when they separated. So they're right. trying to go make a covenant so that they, things can be well with them. So these men took it upon themselves to leave Israel to make a covenant with the heathen, the Greeks. Right? So this device pleased them well. Right. The certain of them, but like the certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king, gave them like license to do after the ordinance of the heathens. Right. So they started to do the, the, the ordinances of the heathen, following their customs and heritage. Right. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem. Right. According to the custom of the heathens. Right, according to the customs of the heathens, read. And made themselves uncircumcised. And did what? And, and made, made themselves, themselves uncircumcised. uncircumcised. So being uncircumcised is when you leave from your natural ordinances to follow the ordinances and heritage of other heathen nations. Right. So that's what these uncircumcised Israelites in the Paul's epistles, those are referred to as the Gentiles because these are Israelites that discontinue from their heritage. Right, bring that up. It's the book of Romans chapter three, and I'm gonna start at verse 29. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, right? Seeing that it, seeing it is one God which uh, justified the circumcision by faith, right? And uncircumcision through faith, right? Right? So, that's, that's the point. so what's, your, what's your point? So the point is, you have the, the uncircumcision by faith, and you had a circumcision by faith. So that they can't be the same people? No, you can be, the point is, you can be circumcised by faith, and uncircumcised through faith, exactly. No, I, I get what you're saying. So it's not a physical circumcision. I get you. But so, uh, so you can be uncircumcised and circumcised in the heart and spirit also. Exactly. So the same thing. Somebody who's not a Jew by faith, 
where that's why I mentioned the Gentiles. Yeah, it's referring to the, the Israelites. Gentiles. Right, the but, Israelites. These, but these Gentiles are Israelites. Right. That were that, that were, were uncircumcised by faith. They didn't know of Yahweh Shah. They right. didn't know about Christ. Okay. That's why Paul had to go and teach them to believe in Christ. Because okay. they were so Hellenized. So this is my question. Like, a general question. If that's the case, why would God make white people? Give me the book of Romans chapter 9. We're going to jump to a chapter before, two chapters before 11. Romans 9 and 21. And give me, give me Syrac 33 and 10. Come. Romans chapter 9 verse 11. Bring it up! Romans 9 and um, 21. Romans chapter 9 verse 21. Have not the potter power over the clay right have not the father power over the clay read of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor so the lord has the power to make one vessel to honor and another unto dishonor and a what and another, another unto, unto dishonor. dishonor and another unto dishonor so the lord makes different people and he makes who he wants to be honorable and who he wants to make dishonor right read. What if God willing to show his wrath, right? And to make his power known, right? Endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. The what? The, the vessels, vessels of, of wrath, wrath fitted, fitted to for destruction. destruction. So there are certain vessels that the Lord created that he only created them to be destroyed. Right. No Jews were created to be destroyed. Say that again. No Jews were created to be destroyed. He said no Jews are created to be destroyed. Well, it is prophesied that there are certain men in within the nation of Israel, two thirds to be exact, is destined for destruction. Right. Give me the book of um, Zechariah 13 and 8. But not because you are Israelite doesn't mean that destruction doesn't come your way as well. Right. Because we've been destroyed throughout history. We've been destroyed by the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Persians. The, the, the Babylonians, the Greek, the Romans, right? And even the so-called white man today, which are the Americans, right? So-called, right? Bring that up. The book of Zechariah chapter 13 and verse number 8. Bring it up! And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off right? and die, right? But the third shall be left therein. Right, so there's two thirds of Israel that's going to be destroyed, but one third is going to be kept alive during the coming of Christ. Read. Right? So, so who's two thirds of us right here, right? There will only be a couple of us saved, right? Well, we we scattered throughout the four corners I'm of the saying, earth. Like just this group right here, two thirds of us. Two thirds would be how much of us is here right now? It's talking about the nation, but it's it, it, yeah, use it as, as an example. So two, two thirds of us right here. This is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two thirds would be like three out of seven. Right? So then there's no there's no guarantee because you're Israelite. Because right, there's no guarantee. Right, not because you're Israelite doesn't mean you still won't get destroyed so by the Lord. Even in the group, it's a couple that might they just not going. For the right, most part. right. Only yeah. the Lord. Oh, then the Lord knows, okay. right? We so we not here to say we're sure that we're a part of it, yeah. but we're here to teach our people that don't know their Israel to repent, keep the commandments, and hope that they're a part of that number through the works and their faith Which in Yahweh Shem Yahusha. Which commandments? All the commandments. Oh, you can keep all the commandments. Yes. Well, we strive to keep all the commandments. Be careful. Well, we strive. The so, scripture says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Exactly. So our, our goal is to strive to keep the commandments to the best of our ability. However, there are certain laws that were, are not applicable today. For example, sacrificial laws. We don't do those anymore. So we're not going to strive to keep sacrificial laws. But as far as other laws like dietary laws, we have... Um, statutes which are high holy days and the commandments. But, but you know the scripture, you know the scripture, bro. It says if you don't keep all the commandments, if you just let some more, you're guilty of all of them. Right. And that's referring to persons that um in the that sit in Moses' seat judging. Because the Pharisees, as you know, they were always judging the other um, people or Israelites around about. But they themselves were guilty of breaking law. Just like the woman that they said committed adultery. Right. And he said, those without sin cast the first stone. Yeah. And they all disappeared. But they were ready to judge this woman 
for her sin or crime. However, they themselves were guilty of other sins. Well, was it the purpose of Christ coming to free us from the world? As far as not, not do away with it, but to oppose the word. The bondage of the, 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 the penalties that come with the law. Yeah, the fact that nobody can do it perfectly. Right, right. So we have grace and mercy for when we fall short as Israelites. Because the laws was only given to us as Israelites. These are the laws that our people broke constantly throughout history and throughout the scripture. And that, as a result of that, that's what allowed these other nations to put us in captivity throughout history and time. Right. Disobedience. Give me, um, give me... Give me Isaiah chapter 1 and 1 and give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Isaiah. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Bring right? it up. The ox knoweth his owner, right? And the ass his master's crib, right? But Israel. But who? But, but Israel, Israel. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Right. My people, they don't consider. They don't know. Read. Ah, sinful nation, nations like a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, right? A seed of evildoers, right? Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. Right, they, they are rebellious people. They all, every, from the time they left out of Egypt, all they have been doing is rebellion, being disobedient. And as a result, the Lord kept putting them into captivity after captivity after captivity as a result of their disobedience. Right, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And as a result, they've been discontinued from what God had originally gave them, which is the covenant, the, the old covenant. Bring that up. This is the book of Jeremiah 17 and verse number 4. Bring it up. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. From what? From, from thine, thine heritage. heritage. Right, because our heritage is the law, statutes, and commandments. Give me Sirach, chapter 17 and 11. Okay, no problem. That I gave thee. That I what? That, that I, I gave, gave thee. thee. Right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. What the Lord do? And, and I will cause thee to serve thine, thine enemies. enemies. So our enemies, right? The Israelites, the Lord says he's going to cause the Israelites to serve their enemies. Who would their enemies be? In general, not just in America. Because this was during the time of Jeremiah. Right? All right. the nations outside of Israel. That's right. And those, all those nations outside of Israel, we have been serving them since we left Egypt. Right. All of them: Assyria, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Babylonians. These are the result of disobedience. So the Lord always put us in captivity because of our disobedience. And 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 guess what? we're the God's chosen people, according to the Scripture. And he's not even he's not afraid to even put us as his chosen people through captivity right. to allow other nations of people to devour us and destroy us. Right, right. But he's merciful to have us still, even in this time frame, 2024, right? To still be here and not devoured and destroyed by these other nations. Because if it was up to these other nations, they would have been extinct. Yeah, but it's Right, but spiritual wickedness in high places, right? The rulers of darkness of this world, right? The the white man, our, we're not just here to, to, to speak about the white man, but he would be the so-called chief wicked on the earth in this present time. All of them? Yes, the whole nation. Right, the whole nation. The whole nation. Babies and everything. Huh? Babies are dead. Well, the, the scripture says the wicked are exchanged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Well, you right. could be a, a wicked Israelite. Of course. That's it. We're, we have wicked of our own nation. So what, what I'm saying, I'm going to cut you Go ahead, King. What I'm, saying, you. what I'm saying is this is the fact of that. It's talking general about a person as far as if you, uh, uh, you said the evil can be wicked from the womb. I don't want to misquote it. Yeah, but that's Psalms um, 58. So what I'm saying is that's the general reference to people. 
That's not just for a white person. No, that, that, that specific people. verse is referring to the Edomites. Okay. As so a nation. As a the, nation of people. Same, I get it. So I, but at the same time, what I'm saying to you is this, bro. Christ came, he didn't die in a sense just for Israel. Yes, he did. Give me Luke 168, give me Matthew 121, and give me um Matthew 15, 24. Give me Matthew 15, 24 first. That's the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse number 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, this is Christ, start from 22. Uh, this verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, right. So this is a Canaanite woman, a woman from another nation, right? Read. And cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, right. thou son of David. Right. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Right. But he answered her not a word. Right. He kind of ignored her. Right. Read. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. What disciples say? Send, send her, her away. away. Is that a bad thing that the disciples say? Yeah, send her away. Man. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. Right. Is disciples wrong for saying that? Would you say that? You said it? Okay, let's get it. All right, I'll accept that. Read, read on. Uh, verse, uh, um, verse 23. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Right? But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Christ say? I am, I am not, not sent but unto, unto the lost sheep, sheep of the, the house, house of Israel. Israel. Right? Read on. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, mm -hmm. Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread. What the Lord say? It, it is, is not, not meat to, to take, take the, the children's, children's bread. bread. It is not good to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. Hey, the Lord gonna kill you, man. The Lord gonna cast destroy to you. Yo, right? Yo. What happened to the Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. So the Lord called this woman a dog, man. Right? So right? right? Do you agree that the Lord called this woman a dog? They called the northern tribes dogs, but they went, they went hard after the idols. So oh, yeah, them. true. Keep reading. Right? Read on. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall off their master's table. Right? Then Yahweh answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is thy faith, right? be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Right. So right. the Lord still, even though he's not sent for the law, he's not for these other nations, but the law sheep, he's able to still show mercy to these other nations if he chooses the crumbs. The but that's the crumbs though. But that's we, the, the, the crumbs. Yeah, the bread, the, so, so the bread is I, for... The bread is for the Israelites. Right. The crumbs is for these other Always nations because of her faith. So that's what I'm saying. She was crumbs. Uh, so one person. Right here, not breaking. One person. Huh? One person. 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 I know you can hear me. I understand what I you're saying. You, I know you can hear me. Yeah, but well, then, watch this, King, but you know what I'm saying? We understand what you're saying as well. Nah. But I think your focus, your focus is on these other nations, right? Your focus is, is, is salvation for these other nations as well. That's what your focus is, right? It is in a sense, but it's the fact of that being born naturally something is inconsequential to where you're going to spend eternity. So, guess why he said it's not about flesh or blood? It's, the fact that this is going to melt off, bro, you're not going to be black. And Give me Romans 9 and 1. It is about flesh, brother, and blood, because Christ was an Israelite. Right. Did you know that? From the tribe of Judah. I know he was born an Israelite. Right, he was an Israelite. He 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 sent for his people. This Bring is the up. book of Romans, chapter do. 9 and verse 1. Right. This yeah. is Paul, right? I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. Right. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, right? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish 
that myself were a curt from Christ for my brethren, right? My kinsmen, right? According to the flesh. According to what? According, according to, to the flesh. flesh. Now, it doesn't matter about the flesh. According, according to, to the, the flesh. flesh. So he said he wish he could go through the same you? things. What about you? Keep going. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, no, I'm, I'm explaining it. He said, I'm not going to stop. He's, I'm explaining it. He says that he wish he could go through the same things Christ went to for his brethren as well that are according to the flesh, right? Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who, Who are, are Israelites? Israelites? So he wish he could have died and suffered just like Christ did for Israel, and he wish he could have done the same as well. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Right, the adoption we read about in the um, Romans, the 11th chapter. That, that uh, pertains to them because they have to be adopted back into the fold because they were once casted away. Right, the northern kingdom. Those are the Gentiles. Right, read. To whom pertaineth the adoption, right, and the glory, right, and the covenants. And the what? And, and the, the covenants. covenants. Both the old and the new covenant only pertains to the Israelites, read. And the giving of the law. The law was only given to the Israelites. And the service of God, right, the, the Levitical priesthood, read. And the promises. And the what? And, and the, the promises. promises. Right, the promises from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob unto them. Right? So it is according to the flesh. However, what you're referring to is talking about, uh, I see that you're trying to use the Canaanite woman, daughter being healed, as an example to show that the Lord can show mercy even to non-Israelite nations, which is true, we agree. And we don't disagree. The Lord can have mercy on who he wants to have mercy. Right, right? The Lord can kill whoever he wants to kill. He can kill an Israelite if he wants to. But that's not the point that we're trying to make. We're trying to make you understand that Israel is who the Lord came and died for according to the scripture. He said he's only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He only died for the Israelites. Give me right. Acts 5, 29, give me Luke 1, 68. Bring that up. I'm going to prove that. Luke 1, 68, Acts 5, 29. The book of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 29. Bring it up. Give me Matthew 1, 21. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Right, read. The God of our fathers raised up Yahushua, right, which is his real name, Yahushua, who he slew and hanged on a tree. Right, whom they killed, read. Him has God exalted with his right hand. The most I exalted him with his right hand, right? To be a prince and savior, right? For to give repentance. To Israel. To give what? To, to give, give repentance, repentance unto Israel. Israel. So he died so rep repentance can be given to the Israelites. Right? Finish that. And, and forgiveness, forgiveness of sins. Sins. And what? And, and forgiveness, forgiveness of, of sins. So he died so the Israelites can repent and be forgiven of their sins. Right. Right? Bring that up. Matthew 121. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Yep. And she shall bring forth a son, right? And thou shalt call his name Yahushai, right? For he shall save his people. Not all people. For he shall save his, his people. people from their sins. That's from one, their that's sins. One people, right? huh? That means that's, that's one people. One people. Right, that's talking about the Israelites. All right, so right here, John so he shall save his people yeah, and we read in Acts 5 29 just now it says to give Israel forgiveness of sins okay, and repentance one, people, right? you keep about one, people, Israel. one nation of people yes. shall be saved. I'll stop right there like you do. It says if any man. Right. So it doesn't just say one type of man. It says any. That means everyone. He shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have life. They might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd. Sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leave it for sheep. And 
fleet and the wolf catches them, it's got to have a sheep. The hire You said the wolf did what? So the wolf catches them and scatters them. And scatters them, right? Okay, yeah. perfect. The hireling flee because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and have known of my sheep, mine sheep, known of mine. Right. As the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Okay, so right here, 16. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be, they shall, there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doeth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down on myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received of my Father. So once again, there's another fold that he's going to bring in, wrap in, and it's going to become one fold. It's not just... All right, so I'm going to show you who the sheep is that has been scattered, and I'm going to show you that that other fold that he's talking about is Northern Kingdom. Right. Right? Bring that out. Jeremiah 15, 17. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 17. Bring it out. Israel is a scattered sheep. Who is a sheep? Israel is a scattered sheep. Right. Israel is a scattered sheep, brother, because Israel has been scattered. Been scattered, but you said another fold. Give me, give me Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse number 19. I'm going to show you what it's talking about when it says there's another fold that shall be grafted in. Because Israel has been split into two kingdoms, are you aware? Yep. And two different nations, yep. right? Northern kingdom, southern kingdom. So that's the fold that it's talking about. He's going to join them together once again. Because during the time that Christ was on the earth, the Jews never dwelt among the northern kingdom. Right. They never considered themselves one people. Right. Uh, so they split, right? No, they were they've been split from the Assyrian captivity. But right. They, I thought they split once more. During King Solomon. During King Solomon's time. Right. I remember that. What I'm speaking about as far as when God, Ezekiel 37 and 19. Bring it out! Ezekiel thir chapter 37, verse 19. This is what he's God. talking about. Say unto them, thus saith the Lord God. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph. I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the land of Ephraim, the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, right? All the nine tribes, his fellows, right? And will put them with him. And will what? And, and will put, put them with, with him, him, right? Even with the stick of the of Judah. Even with the stick of Judah. So he's going to take the stick of Joseph and he's going to take the stick of Judah and he's going to put them together. This, this is a future prophecy, right? Of joining back the two tribes wholeheartedly together. Right. Right? That's what you're reading in um, Matthew the 10, John the 10, 10 chapter. That's what he's talking about. Him bringing them back together. That's why the Pharisees and the Jews were so adamant on getting on Peter and Paul when they were now teaching these other Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? Because they was like, what? Even with the, this scenario with Cornelius, it was like, it is not lawful for a man that is a Jew to be seen with us. Because they never considered themselves the same, even though they're from the same people. Wait, but so Cornelius and them was Jews also? They was Israelites. Right. They were Israelites. They were Israelites. Right? Let me finish this first and then we can hop to that. Bring that. Even with the stick of Judah, right, and make them one stick, and do what, and, and make, make them, them one stick, stick. right, Grab, bringing them back into the fold, right, and they shall be one in my hand. They shall what, they and they shall, shall be, be one, one in my, my hand. hand. That's that one fold that is referring to, right? Read, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand, right, before their eyes, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Behold, I will take the children of Israel right from among the heathen. From where? From, from among, among the, the heathen. So this is a future prophecy where the Lord is going to gather all the children of Israel that scattered amongst all these different nations. Because we identify as all these different lands that we're scattered into. America, Jamaican, Haitian, European, wherever we are in the earth, right? We identify as those nationalities in which we were scattered. Yeah. So we can't judge our people based off appearance because we all look different now because of mixing, interracial marriages, stuff like that. Yeah. So we can't judge based off just appearance, right? Read on. Whether they be gone 
and will they gather them on every side, right? And bring them into their own land. And do what? And, and bring, bring them, them into, into their, their own, own land. land. So this is a future prophecy of the Lord bringing us back into our homeland, which is Jerusalem, right? right? Give me Galatians 4:26. Bring that up. And I will make them one nation. And I will what? And, and I, will I will make them, them one nation. nation. Right. I will make them one nation again. Because because they were divided. Read. In the land upon the mountains of Israel. Right. Mount Zion. And one king shall be king to them all. Right. And they shall be one. They shall be no more two nations. Read that again. And they, they shall, shall be, be no more two, two nations. nations. So they will no longer be considered two different nations. Yeah. They'll be one together. Because... The Jews, because they were aware of this split, they never considered the northern kingdom to be anything of them. Why though? Because of them idolatry. being cut off. Being cut off for what reasons? Because of idolatry. They just follow the idols of other nations. Right. Yeah, and they made idols of them their own as well. During the King Rohbaum, when he made the um, the calf for them to worship, and the Lord allowed the Assyrians to come and take them bring them into Samaria. So this this is my question then. Like as far as them being made uh, Gentiles according to them following the idolatry. Right. It's because they mix themselves with their own false gods and with the gods of other nations. And other nations. So but were, usually it's mostly gods of other nations because yeah. they never knew anything else besides the law, statutes and commandments. So anywhere they got those ideas from other gods was from these other so nations. That, that's what I'm saying as far as that part. They group, they got grouped into being Gentiles because they mixed with the Gentiles. Mixed with the Gentiles so and they, started to live like them. Just like us in America right now. We like were Americans. considered Gentiles. We would be considered Gentiles yeah. because we grew up in the customs of America. Right. Following Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. So we would Columbus be uncircumcised. Day. Well, we were uncircumcised, right. but because we understand this, we've discontinued from the, the heathen customs and now starting to follow back our God-given heritage and customs, right. which are the law, statutes, and commandments. So we have been circumcised through the, 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 the spirit, right, through the law, statutes, and commandments, right. because that's what makes us perfect, following the law, statutes, and commandments. Well, that's the thing, though. We just... We just went over that. Nobody can follow it to the T by ourselves. Well, you don't have to follow all the commandments to be considered perfect. In a sense, if you walk according to the Spirit. Well, the Lord knows the Spirit. He knows the Spirit of each and every one of us. Because He has made us from the womb. He, well, yeah, give me Jeremiah 1 and 5. As far as following the law of the Spirit, being led of the Holy Spirit, you'll walk lawfully according you'll, to the Spirit. Yeah, because you what say a man have faith and not works. Right? You can't have faith and not work. So your faith is just to know, show that you believe in Christ. But then, I can't be saying I believe in Christ, but I'm out here killing my brother. Yeah. Or I'm out here just eating abominable food and, 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 and doing whoredom, making whores of my sister. vice versa, you can do all those things that seem righteous and still not be led according to right in your spirit. Right, because your spirit has, has not been, you can portray a facade yeah. like, like the Pharisees. They had all the long um, garments, the phylacteries with the yeah. fringes, prepared to be the mightiest thing in Israel, but they, their heart, they didn't have faith. Yeah, right? Christ so, said, as like what in wars, they're like ravening, ravening wolves, wolves yeah. right? <laughs> so, so, right. So it, 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 it's a so you see where the Pharisees were lacking in faith, and then you see where the Gentiles, the northern kingdom, were lacking in works. Yeah. So that's why faith and works is needed for the salvation. Yeah, However, God knows the heart of men, and He knows that it's desperately wicked. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Right? The Lord knows our heart. I can be up here and teach you about the law, statutes, and commandments, or whatever. However, I'm being a hypocrite behind closed doors. Yeah. But the, the Lord is, at the end of the day, is going to be the judge of me for the works that I've been doing and the things that I have not been doing. Yeah. Right? But I can portray myself to be the holiest of holies in front of anybody. Like these Christian you pastors. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's why we. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're against Christianity and these Christians that teach about the Lord because they teach about the faith of Christ, but yet they don't have any works to show them. Right. I don't think that's all Christians, though. Well, a lot of them have been, um, give me Jeremiah 20, 23 and, and 1. Right. A lot of them have been misled right. and, and indoctrinated by false doctrines and religions of men. 
So, but that's why, I, that's why I'm saying to you, bro. I don't believe that. I'm not trying to say like just my belief, but I'm saying the fact of that all people are going to be judged according to what they do. As far as God gives them the opportunity to accept Christ, if they don't accept Christ, I mean, you do it. You just, Basically, them just like because he's the free gift, grace and mercy that's from the Father to, to allow us to have the chance to get it. Right, and that's referring to the Israelites. Right, because you can't be a heathen nation, accept Christ, but don't accept his people. But that's what I'm saying to you. So, if you accept Christ, once you accept Christ, you're grafted in. Like when God sees us and we're going to be judged, He's going to either see you as His son or not His son. That's what that's what's going to make the determination whether you get in or not. If he, if he sees you and he sees his son, because that's the blood one, that was the sacrifice that was given as the atonement for the time. So if he doesn't see that on you, don't matter if he was born a Jew, he was born a American, he was born a whatever. If he doesn't see that blood of Christ, the same thing with the Passover. It's like it's basically like the type of the Passover. The Passover, they put the blood over the over the doorpost, the blood's on the doorpost, the angel passed by. Who did that? Uh, who, who put the blood on the Israelites? The Israelites. Yeah, so Christ's Egypt. blood only covers the Israelites. Right. I'm saying to you, so big. If if you come to Christ and you believe in faith that He is the Lord and Savior, God gave us gave us His Son that we may uh, that we may be saved. That blood is now applied to you if you believe in Christ. That's the grace. He's the free grace. Are you speaking on just Israelites? <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'm talking about anybody who accepts Christ. All right, give me Luke 168. Okay. Give me Revelation 226. Then you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna have to answer this question. Ready? Right? Luke chapter one, verse 68. Bring it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Nah, of everybody. Of Let Israel. You. Right, we always reading about Israel, brother. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his, his people. Not nah, all people. His, his people. people. He has visited and redeemed his people. And have raised up a horn of salvation, salvation for, for us in the house of his servant David. Talking about Christ, right? As he spake by the mouth of his holy, holy prophets. prophets, right? Which, which have been, been since, since the world, world began, began, right? That we should be saved. That from, we should be what? That, that we should, should be saved. saved. That the from, Israelites should be saved from, from their enemies. enemies. From who? From, from our, our enemies. enemies. So salvation is being saved from our enemies. We're still in the hands of our enemies. Right. I guess. I guess. I, I get what you're saying, but this is what this. No, is what no, it's, it's what the scripture says. I get what the scripture says. I'm it says that we're gonna be saved from our enemies. Read. And, and from, from the, the hand, hand of all, all that, that hate us. And from what? And from, from the, the hand, hand of all, all that, that hate us. us. Right, so Christ came to die so we can have repentance and forgiveness of sins so that He can come and deliver us once we've repented and come back to serving Him from all our enemies and those that rule over us. I should have to explain it, right? Hmm? I should have to explain what you just wrote. Say that again. You said you're gonna have to explain this. Oh, I always have to explain. No, you said I'm gonna have to answer what he just read. It. Right, right. What he, he said he's gonna save us from our enemies. What is that talking about? Okay, so when it comes down to the whole, uh, we shall be saved. As I just explained, if you accept Christ, you now belong to Christ. His blood is now applied to you. So those same people that you're talking about are now in the fold. They get accepted in the fold when they accept his. His, they accept the free sacrifice, but it's not possible. So now they shall be saved. Okay, calm, but that's not what it just said. It says that we're going to be saved from our enemies. The we, that's what I'm saying. The we is the, the people who accepted Christ. No, he's talking about the Israelites. Read it we. from the top again. The Read it from the top again. Luke 1, Luke, 68. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Right? For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Not all people. His, his people. people. So the context doesn't change, brother. He's talking about Israel being saved. Revelation 2 26. The, same the of book me. of Revelation 2 and verse 26. Bring it out. And he hath overcometh. And he that overcometh. This is red letter. So this is Christ speaking, brother. And keepeth my work unto the end. Right? To him will I give power over the nation. Read that again. To, to him will I give power over, over the, the nations. nations. So Christ is saying to whoever that overcomes, he's going to give power over the nations. Right? What nations is that talking about? 
He's talking about the other nations, brother, that are not Israel. Read. Right. And he shall rule them. And we shall what? And he, he shall, shall rule, rule them. them. And we shall rule these other nations with a rod of iron. With a what? With, with a, a rod, rod of iron. iron. Now, hugs and kisses. With a rod of iron. So we're going to rule over these other nations with a rod of iron. Meaning that we're going to force them to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments in the, in the kingdom to come. Long -term. No, they don't belong no, to him. The they're going to be forced to get down with us. What I'm saying is Israel is the people who belong to God. Yes. All right. So if you're accepted into the fold by God, by accepting his free gift, you are now part of Israel. That's what No, Moses you can't is. be a part of Israel by right, accepting so that. You right. didn't answer this part last time. All right, John. Okay, bring that up. All right. Wrap it up. Yeah, nah, he about to take over. Yeah, brother, you stuck on trying to get these other nations just because they accept us doesn't mean that they get grafted in, brother. That's not how it works. Explain to me how any man can enter in. I'm gonna answer that. That's John 10, right? Give me John 10 and um, give me Romans 10 and 2. Give me Romans 10 and 2. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Start at 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayers to God. For Israel, for, who? For, for Israel, Israel. for who? For, for Israel, Israel. Uh -huh. might be saved. That, that what? They, that might they be might saved. be saved. That they might be saved. Right. Go to Romans eleven twenty six. Romans chapter eleven verse twenty six, and so all Israel shall be saved. Read that again. And, and so for, all Israel and so shall all Israel shall be saved. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Not from everybody. From, from Jacob. Jacob. From Jacob, brother. You know what I'm that's, saying? That and, miss what I asked for. and well, the, the next brother, mighty brother, is going to come up and maybe he can pull some other precepts to help you out, brother. But this is my time, and with that, I want to give our honor and praise to Yahweh. But Shema Mashiach, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come testing him. Pick two rap with a sling might lick off and met like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard the day talking that big talk, lip off, which got listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely big match, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form don't stress me. Hey, I'm an Israelite child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his rain, he clove and he dressed me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand with my sword at the gate. Holiness to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespecting the stone of your face. Look, you must be a fool to